Gamak comes from the Indian word gamaka, which refers to the very practiced and precise technique of melodic ornamentation that takes place in North and South Indian music. But for me as an Indian American with a foot in two different cultures, I see gamaka as maybe an expression of melodic ornamentation of, of the beauty of melody as it occurs all over the world. Many of my projects embody a certain Indian influence. Some are within a jazz quartet setting, and others have actually involved Indian musicians, Indian instrumentalists, and in more of a kind of cross-cultural collaboration. I feel like Gamak actually portrays a wider scope. On the eastern side, there's obviously the Indian influence, but there's also elements of Chinese music and Indonesian gamelan and even some Arabic music. And on the western side, there's more than just jazz at play. There are elements of progressive rock and folk music and heavy metal and uh, really folksy singer-songwriter kinds of ideas and uh, boogaloo and, and many others. This band is made up of some of my favorite musicians of all time. Dan Weiss has been playing with me, both playing drums and tabla with me, uh, since 2006. Francois is someone that I started playing with 15 years ago when I first moved to New York. Dave Fusinski is really special. He's uh, someone I've admired for a very, very long time, and I've heard him in lots of different contexts. And he can really make the guitar do things that no one else can do with a very, very unique voice. He comes to the table with a really soul, rock, punk aesthetic, but still within this jazz context. So he really turns the sound of the band on its ear and really brings out something different in all of us. In this particular context, I, uh, Rudresh really uses me for what I do. He uh, kind of built the music around me personally, and uh, I just really like the idea of being kind of a, a microtonal uh, Captain Kirk who's going where no man has gone before. The thing that makes uh, playing with Rujesh really unique for me is his intensity. That's the most important thing, his intensity and his energy level when he plays. And then his willingness to go in any direction at any point. He's, he's focused on emotion, actually. His playing is really very moving, and uh, so as that makes him a band leader that's really easy to play with because he doesn't need to actually give you so many directions or anything. Just the texture of what he's playing and the strength of his personality leads you into something. I think Rudresh is a, a pioneer because uh, there's less than a handful of people who can mix an Eastern discipline with microtonality in, in a jazz groove context it's, and do it in such a creative and powerful, colorful and, and uh, uh, musical way. For me, this project in particular really represents where I am and who I am and all the different music that interests me and all the different music that's had uh, an effect on me, that's inspired me, that's made me want to think and made me want to create and makes me want to pick up the saxophone every morning. I want this music to reach as many people as possible. I think there, there's a message in it. There's a captivating spirit there that, um, that I hope everyone can enjoy.